Hey coach, I uh, hope you're enjoying the video. Make sure you subscribe and like. We love those. Also go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. If you want to become a better coach in a less than a dollar a day, you can, you can do that. My mentor, my personal email address, I will help you become a better basketball coach. Go over and check it out. Let's head back to the video. All right, welcome to the Basketball Leadership Podcast. I love this. I just looked at the topic before we came out. I love this topic, coach. And, I, and and I'm not, is there an answer to this? <laughs> How does culture win? I don't yeah. know if there's an answer, but, um, you know, I, my first book that I wrote was called culture wins. Okay. And I think when everyone hears the word culture, a lot of, a lot of people think it's the, you know, kumbaya, get in a circle, we're all going to hug each other. And it's not, I don't view it that way. And I, I hope other people don't view it that way, but Culture wins because culture is every day. And I think the number one job of a coach, no, no matter what, of a leader is to build culture. And you build culture with every single daily decision. And so I define culture, I say culture is every day. Uh, that's actually the third one, but culture is what you allow. Culture is what you emphasize and culture is every day. And so, okay. So say that again for the culture is what you allow. So as a coach, what do we allow? Do we allow kids to show up late? Do we allow kids to talk back to teammates? Do we allow kids to take bad shots? I mean, there's culture within your program. There's culture within coaching the game. It's the standards that you have on what you allow. And then secondly is what you emphasize. We can't emphasize everything as a coach. We got to pick defensively what are the two three things we want to really focus on offensively what do we want to be and then with our team what do we want to emphasize and then you have to do that every day like every i think day. so many people put together the nice little picture of this is our program this is our team this yeah, is here's our, our pillars here's our pillars. here's our pillars here's our culture and then they they lose sight of the fact that it's every single day and that's the draining part of, a, of being a leader and being a coach is you have to constantly be thinking, if I allow that, what is the domino effect? I can't be a dictator. I can't like be this guy that doesn't allow anything or, you know what I mean? You, you gotta find, it's the art of what is really important or not and how that builds and grows into your team. And that's what culture is. So Culture is just day-to-day -day decisions that we make that move us in the direction and vision that we want our team, school, community, family to be. It's but it's every day. Every day, every day. Every so day. It's, it's crazy. I didn't know that I was building culture when I took over the Memorial Program, but it had, it had had six winning seasons in 30 years. And I just remember coming in and going, you know, there's just, there were things that were happening that just boggled my mind. So I remember with a, a, a notebook, I sat down, I go, these are the things that we have to do. I didn't think about pillars. I didn't think about this. Yeah. It's like, we got to, we got to be on time. We got to work hard. We got to get in the gym. We, there were just things that I knew we had to do. And there were things with picking the team and there was things with like, you know, I mean, I, I, I even cut one of my assistant coaches as kid because he wasn't good enough. I had to make some really hard decisions. And there was a ripple early. Like, what is he doing? Like, but it, I had to almost bring out the paddles. I had to bring out the AED and go like, no, winning programs do this and not winning programs, you know, you can't. And I didn't know what I was necessarily doing. I just knew this was from the people I had learned. This is how you run a classroom, how you run a program. So I didn't yeah, know I was necessarily doing it, but I was doing it. Now, in retrospect, it was like I, I was just restarting it. Like, And I think winners win. Okay. And I, I think people that are successful, people that – know how to win it doesn't mean you win every season and you win every game but winners know how to win and successful people know why they're successful and it usually starts 
with hard work. It's something you can control. And it starts with your attitude. And it starts with doing the little things that you know win each and every day. And the best coaches create those standards and that culture. But it's it's like we said, it's, it's everyday decisions. And, yep. you know, I, I mean it just, it, it goes into how you play defense and, and how you, what your shot selection is like in games and, and what you do leading up to prepare for games. It's, it's what winning teams do. And that's why culture wins. It's just, it's your daily decisions that are winning decisions. Right. And it's the, it's the everyday, like, Nothing will change as far as how our preparation goes. Come turn, we're like we've been doing it all season. Like, yeah, you know, we, this is the way we do things, and here's how we prepare. And it's not like all of a sudden we're switching on because we're playing <clears throat> Team X. Um, no, and it's that process is the prize uh, approach. Like, it, it's the day to day grind and those decisions that really matter. And it's like, well, and I had my team over for dinner the other day, and I. You know, we had some highlight tapes. We had some things we did, but I also explained to them, you know, here are the traditions we do. It's like, it's that culture. Yep. It's, a tr it's like your family traditions. Like, how do you handle the holidays? How do you do this? Yep. It's the same thing. And so I was just re-explaining, especially for the youngsters that don't know, it's like, here's how things work and here's how we do this. And um, I just think that's an important part of, um, yeah, covering, yep. uh covering all of that um other th anything else coach with that with culture no winning? i think that that's it it's it's the number one job of a, of a coach is to build culture i guess that's what i leave people with and you really got to think about uh the daily decisions that you make all right till next week thanks for watching coach make sure you go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better make sure you subscribe so you get notified every time we come back on but you will not be disappointed with teachhoops.com 14 day free trial let's go check it out have a great day